Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to emulate Sony PlayStation Portable games on the Apple Silicon Mac using an emulator called PPSSPP. So this is a native ARM emulator using the Metal backend and it works really well on the Apple Silicon Mac. So today I'm going to show you the entire process of how to get this to work, including downloading the emulator, installing games, setting up and powering a Bluetooth controller, and then changing the in-game settings as well to get the best graphics for the Apple Silicon Mac. So what I'm going to do is to leave a link in the description for this website, PPSSPP org and we're going to go ahead and press this blue download button here so press this and then we're going to go and download this one here ppsspp.dmg so click on here and this is going to download the full ppsspp emulator so once that's downloaded we're going to go and minimize this and then we're going to go to our finder and then click on the downloads folder here and then we have ppsspp underscore macOS.dmg, which we're going to double click on. Once we've double clicked on it, to drag and drop the PPSSPP PSDL and then drop this into applications and then let go. Then what we can do is to scroll down until we find the application that we just installed and then we're going to go ahead and double click. It's asking us, are we sure we want to open it? It's an app downloaded from the internet. Press open to manually open. So now you can see that PPSSPP has been installed and what we're going to do is to load up a bunch of games. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you how to get PSP ISO files. However, they can be downloaded quite easily from the internet or you can rip them from genuine PSP UMD discs as long as you have a jailbroken PSP it's quite straightforward and then what we're going to do here is navigate to the folder where all your games are so I'm just going to navigate to where my games are and then we're going to go to my emulation folder and find my PSP folder so I've got a bunch of games listed here already so I want to load up my first game God of War Ghost of Sparta as I'm loading this up what I'm going to do as well is to start configuring this game so basically I'm going to pause the emulation and then we're going to go ahead and go to our settings. So firstly, we want to be using a controller of some kind. So I'm going to be using my PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. We're going to go to our settings and then get a Bluetooth. I want to make sure that we have a controller pair. So this is a PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. Each controller is going to be pairing slightly differently on a Mac. However, to put this in the pairing mode, we just hold down this button here and then hold down the home button until this starts to flash. So you can see the LED here has started to flash here. And then on the Mac side, you can see here, there is a DualSense wireless controller appearing under nearby devices. Press the connect button. And this is now connected up. You can see here that the DualSense LED has turned a solid blue light. So that means it's all paired up and ready to go. Then what you can do is control the actual emulator from your controller. So you know that this is all working correctly. Next, we want to be changing the back end resolution. So by default, the resolution of the PSP is quite low. Ideally, you want something like four times PSP resolution in order to get 1080p at the very minimum. So I'm recording this in 1080p. And so four times PSP resolution is going to be just about enough for us to get started on. And basically, we're pretty much set up completely. So what I'm going to do is come back here and then we're going to continue emulating this game. What I'm going to do here is to maximize the window and then that's going to give us the correct resolution. And we're going to do a bit of gameplay as well. So as you can see, God of War Ghost of Sparta pretty much works perfectly at 60 frames per second at four times native resolution. There are other games that you can test too. For example, this is Tekken 6 and also works pretty much perfectly on the PPSSPP on a Mac. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.